federal crime alert, a man accused of fondling a woman who just got discharged from a cosmetic procedure. He was supposed to be driving her to a recovery house, and police fear there could be even more victims. Local 10's Terrell Forday live in West Miami with the disturbing details. Terrell. Yeah, very disturbing allegations to say the least. It was just supposed to be a few short rides from the airport to the surgery center and then to a recovery house. But tonight, investigators say they have evidence that the driver took advantage of one of those patients. Jose Sacon Basantes was the designated driver for patients recovering from surgery, entrusted to take some of them to and from their appointments. But earlier this month, detectives believe the 26-year-old committed sexual battery against a female patient during a ride after she was discharged. A police report says the defendant video recorded with his cell phone while he fondled the victim's breasts and ran his hand down her thighs. The victim, though, was still drugged from anesthesia and unable to stop the attack. We've learned the woman opted for a cosmetic procedure at this West Miami Surgery Center and paid for a post-op recovery at a home several miles away. There was no answer, though, at the door of that recovery home when we stopped by on Monday, a business ran by Basantes' wife. The very next day, and with a clear mind, the victim approached the wife and told her story. Cops say the wife checked her husband's phone and found an incriminating video, but she then refunded the victim her money and pleaded with the victim to not report the incident to police. You've been charged with um, video voyeurism of a person 19 years or older. The tactic didn't work, and Basantes was arrested on two felony counts, including battery. Speaking in Spanish, por favor. In Spanish, Basantes' mom vigorously defends her son, calling the criminal charges bogus and ultimately blaming the victim for trying to shake down her son for cash. So this actually isn't the first arrest for Basantes. In fact, in 2019, he was arrested uh, for a charge of soliciting prostitution. We know that in this case, he was given a $7,500 bond, but that bond has already been posted, and tonight he is now out of jail. Reporting live from West Miami, I'm Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News.